in this video, we're going to show you how to make this adorable animal block with machine embroidery and the patterns available on our website. We're going to begin by making all of the freestanding components of each animal and that is done by hooping your hoop with water soluble interfacing. I use two layers and then I'm going to call up like I'm going to do the head first so I'll call it up on the machine. Now I've done the first stage of the applique which is a single stitch and it's the head like this so that locates it to the hoop and I've made a sandwich which is two pieces of fabric wrong sides together with thin polyester bottom batting in between and I've got the fabric on both sides because it's going to be freestanding and I'm going to place that over the marked head and then I'm going to stitch it again with a single stitch. Now I've single stitched and I trimmed the extra fabric away. Now it's completely stitched. I'm going to take it out of the hoop, cut the extra water soluble interfacing away and soak it. Slit the back of the muzzle and then I stuff it so that it gives it a trapuntal look on this side. I'll whip stitch that opening closed. And then for the nose, I just have a two inch circle and I've hand gathered it around the outside with a double thread and stuffed it as tight as I can and then pull it tight, whip stitch across the opening and just keep pulling it tight. And then I'll put the opening right here at the top of the muzzle between the eyes. You can do smaller nose if you want. You can use a pom-pom if you want. These are so easy to make. But as the fabric crowns around and meets the face top, I'm gonna just do tiny stitches. It doesn't take long at all. Just back and forth so that the threads don't show. And then just attach it there. And then I'm good to go. finish all my other components, whichever ear I've chosen to do, and then there, the feet are done the same way on water-soluble interfacing. The pad is stitched, so I have ears and the little paws. Each animal has ears, feet, and the arms, and the head, and then we'll do the body. I mark the very center of my 12 by 12 block, or and I've placed the center about an inch from the edge of the hoop. And that's because when I sew the body, the top of the body will come along this way and then sew, it'll sew right here. That's where the placement is. And the top of the body is actually the center of the animal. So that will center the animal on the block. Now it's really careful to align it and make it straight right where I want it placed because the animal will be crooked if you know the hoop is the fabric is hooped crooked so I was really careful of course it's easy with a stripe to see if it's straight so we'll start with a single stitch which is the first stage of the applique that will locate it and then I'll place the fabric uh, with batting on top like this and then it will single stitch again I'll trim the extra outside fabric away and then I'll show you from there what we'll do now I've done the single stitch I trimmed the extra fabric around the outside and when I do the next stage of the applique which is the zigzag and the satin stitch I'll put the water soluble piece over that as well to keep it from stressing and breaking this fabric and then we'll soak it to get rid of the interfacing and then we'll show you how to put the parts on. I've made a paper copy that comes with the pattern for the placement of the different components of the animals. They're all the same except the ears are different for the different animals, but I'm just gonna put that paper pattern up against the back up to the light and that will give me the placement of the feet. They're already completed with the foot pad so I can place them and then restitch the foot pad because it's already there and shows you where it is or I can blind stitch and then the arms 
are going to go along the top like this and then I'll just zigzag across the top. Now we've got our body done. We're, we want to place the head. That's a little more bulk. Um, we're going to use our paper pattern for placing. Just Xerox that paper pattern. And But we want to cut out the edges of this block before we put our head. So what you want to do is put in the middle of the neck six and a half inches measure. This is for a 10 inch finish block. And with six and a half here in the middle of the neck, then mark this edge and cut it. And I, I have in this, I've already cut the sides. And how you're gonna do that is put five and a quarter in the middle of his tummy and then five and a quarter on this on the other side and go ahead and cut the sides and then make sure this is perpendicular to the sides and then from there come from this edge and measure ten and a half and mark it and then cut it and then when the head is added it's going to give you the right easement on the top and the bottom. Now to finish, we've whip stitched the ear to the back of the head and we've placed the head according to our paper pattern and then just stitched in the ditch, right, a single stitch right next to the satin stitch to attach the head. And then I've used a little pencil or crayon to blush the cheeks. One stitch with double thread and pull that little mouth in for a cute little puckered smile. Anyway, these turn out so cute. Kids love to play with the dimension. They're just fun. And I hope this video has showed you how really easy they are. And come to our website, download our pattern, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.